हेलो व्यूअर्स दिस इज डॉक्टर हिया अग्रवाल फर्टिलिटी कंसल्टेंट एट नीलकंठ आई जोधपुर टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट थ्री मेजर इश्यूज एसोसिएटेड विथ फीमेल इनफर्टिलिटी इनफर्टिलिटी कैन बी ड्यू टू आइदर मेल और फीमेल कॉजेस दे आर सर्टन कॉजेस विच आर मोर कॉमनली सीन इन फीमेल्स एंड आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फीमेल इनफर्टिलिटी वन ऑफ द कॉजेज इज पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन डिसीज और पी सी ओ एस इन दिस डिसीज फीमेल्स टेंड टू प्रोड्यूस मोर ऑफ मेल हारमोन दैट इज एंड्रोजन्स विच रिजल्ट इन टू प्रोडक्शन ऑफ टाइनी लिटिल सिस्ट इन द ओवरीज एंड अ मेच्योर एग इज नॉट डेवलप्ड इफ द वुमेन इज नॉट एबल टू डेवलप अ मेच्योर एग वंस अ मंथ शी विल नॉट बी एबल टू कंसीव एंड शी विल हैव इरेगुलर पीरियड्स सो दीज वुमेन यूजली प्रजेंट टू अस with irregular periods either since they have started having periods or they may have increased weight in the recent time and may have had irregular cycles from past few years they also present with acne hair loss increased weight which is obesity and they are just, that is mostly due to the increased androgen production these women can conceive on their own but they have have to have increased chances of missed abortion or abortion second trimester abortion for these patients who are suffering from pcos there are lot of fertility treatments available foremost in these patients we try medications for induce ovulation that is egg rupture and we allow them to have a natural contact with their husband if the husband parameters are normal if the husband parameters are also compromise then we give them an option of intrauterine insemination in which the husband samples is being processed and then directly inserted into uterus along with the ovulation induction medications if these women do not conceive with this natural trying methods with medications and injections then these women are recommended for ivf in ivf then the hormonal injections are given for 10 to 12 days and then eggs are being developed which are then taken out with the help of a needle under ultrasound guidance and then fertilized with the egg uh, with the sperms of the male partner in the lab so ivf is a very good treatment for these women who are ref- uh, retrained or who are not able to conceive with the normal methods another important cause of infertility in women is T- uh, fallopian tube blockage or tube blockage it is the most common cause of secondary infertility secondary infertility are said to be those women who have conceived previously either by a live birth or have had an abortion these women tend to have either an infection which is called as pelvic infection or they may have had any adhesions which has caused the tubal damage and the kinking of the tube resulting in the blockage of the tube or improper functioning of the tube and hence the fertilization of the sperm and egg is not able to take place and the naturally conception doesn't occur in these cases ivf is the only option because the fertilization is done outside the lab and the tube is not required so if the ovarian reserve as well as the sperm count is normal these women tend to conceive very nicely with the ivf and it is the best and the only treatment option for them third of the major cause of uh, infertility in females is endometriosis this is a condition seen in reproductive age females usually from a 20 to 40 years of age in this condition the endometrial tissue that is the lining of the uterus is developed outside the uterus in the either the ovary or near the tubes anywhere in the pelvis because of this ectopic endometrial tissue the ovarian quality decreases as well as the oocytes formed from the ovaries are not very healthy because of the endometrial tissue in the pelvis there is a bleeding and formation of bands in the pelvis that results in blockage of the fallopian tubes and it can result into tubal infertility also so women with endometriosis usually present with excessive pain during the periods and having problem in the intercourse once the ultrasound is done it can reveal that whether you have endometriosis either in the ovaries or it is a problem in the pelvis whether the tubes are okay or not 
and if accordingly the treatment is given. If the tubes are working and the reserve, ovarian reserve is fine, then the medications can be tried. Otherwise, IVF is the usual option. It is a recommended option because these women tend to have decreased reserve at very high pace and they should opt for the treatment as soon as possible and should accelerate the treatment to IVF if they are not able to conceive within two or three cycles of the normal medications. Any problem related to these three conditions in the female infertility or any other query you have, you can consult the number given below or you can visit our center. Thank you.